and welcome back to High Stakes MMA. Uh, we had a we had a week off, been itching for some fights, uh, so we're back here to break down this weekend's card for uh, Fight Night 28 at the Apex Rosenstrike versus Sakai. Uh, sh should be a good card. There's a lot of fights on this card, um, some good spots for some bets as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to breaking this one down here for you guys. Uh, first fight of the night, we got Claudio Puelas, uh, nine and two, coming in against uh, Jordan Levette, eight and zero, uh, undefeated fighter uh, prospect coming in. Uh, for for Claudio, I want to start with him. Uh, 25 years old. Um, he actually has got some got some fights uh, under his belt already for for uh, for you know being 25. Um, he, he took a couple years off after his tough stint, which ended in a loss to uh, Martin Bravo back in 2016. Uh, he's only had uh, two fights since. Puelas throws a, a lot of good kicks, um, not much power in his strikes. He's, he, he's, you know, more than half of his wins are by submission. Uh, but uh, these guys are, are very similar in style. Uh, I don't see, see much out of Claudio out of the stand-up um, and, and not much head movement as well. Uh, on the flip side for Jordan, um, he's undefeated. Um, he's he's crafty. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. He will take what's there. Uh, his his biggest win is is coming back in December uh, with the big slam knockout of of Matt Wyman with that forearm to the neck and then just slams him on the floor. But however, Matt, as we all know, he he's not the the Matt Wyman of old. Um, so it's not really much to say about that. But it was just was a, a beautiful slam. But I do see Jordan trying to, to use his wrestling in this fight uh, as well. I, I know he loves that single leg takedown. Um, they're both they're both decent grapplers. Um, I do give the Jordan the slight advantage uh, in in the striking as well, and um, I, I think he should do enough to to pull it out. Yeah. So I'm gonna I disagree a little bit. I think Jordan's stand up is pretty bad. Like um, like really bad actually. Like even in, if he goes past the first round. He looks a little slower, and you know he'll start shooting lazy shots with his hands completely down, and you know on one leg, and uh, you know just trying to bob around looking for for an ankle and whatnot. So his his striking is just to me it's just it's terrible. I would definitely give Claudio the edge on the feet, but you are right though. I do think he is the the more stronger grappler. Although Claudio does have uh, you know some submissions to his name as well. We haven't and seen Jordan much af after the first round either. Yeah, and, and all of his stuff, uh, like all of his previous competition besides his um, fight with Wyman and Luke Flores on the Contender Series, uh, they've been all relatively low-level guys or like, you know, only three or, you know, debuting fighters sometimes. And and he's handled business each and every time, but he's just fighting, a, I think, a true fighter here and, uh, and any younger fighter in Puelas. And I think it's gonna be a, a good fight. Sometimes when you get these two grapplers, you know, it's old saying they'll, they'll go out and just start throwing a lot of a lot of strikes and see who's the better striker. But um, I don't think that's what's gonna happen here. I think Jordan's gonna come in, look for that heavy takedown, and you know, try to get him out of there as early as possible. As the fight goes on, I'm definitely gonna edge it to Claudio. But um, yeah, this one's a this one's a hard one to call. I would give a the advantage though to the Levitt, he looks like he has the you know the the more crafty, the more playmaking ability on on the spot, and actually uh, can land something on Puelas and get him out of there. Puelas is a big guy though, so it's not like a he's gonna be out there super uh, super small. I believe he's got like a two inch reach advantage, but even in in the cage though, he just looks like a bigger fighter. So um, it's definitely gonna be a good fight. Definitely excited to see if Levitt's the real deal or not. Um, I would slightly edge him in this fight, but I, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting my money on it. After the first round, I definitely uh, edge Puelas, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's definitely gonna be a good fight, but uh, pure pick. I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take uh, Levitt, but man, if it goes past that first round, dude, I I'll be looking a live bet Puelas all day. All right, so looks like uh, as far as pure pick, we're both on Jordan Levitt here. Um, so like I said, it's just to, to kick off a, a strong card here. We got, I believe, it's fourteen fights on the fight card. So, stay intact. yeah, it's pretty. Hopefully, it does stay intact. Um, so, yeah, we should be pretty stacked. 